Hey dreamers, welcome back to the Dream Green Show. If you caught my last video, you know I've been investing $60 into Apple every single day for the past 110 days. Here's the update at Apple, they're sitting at $180. Over the last year, they're up 43%. I just bought 100 shares of a contract I had on them. I'm still sitting up almost $1,000 on Apple. So. The experiment is still running well. Today, we're gonna take a step further. We're gonna explore what the future might hold for my Apple investment over the next 10 years. Diving into Apple past performance, its growth trajectory, and why it's considered a smart investment. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it. But before we continue, I have a challenge for you. If you're excited on what's coming next in this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. So if you want to help dreamers find content like this, hitting that thumbs up button really counts. Let's make every like count. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Appreciate it. All right, but before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. If you sign up, deposit $100, you can receive up to 15 free stocks. Um, guys, they also have a 5.1% APY interest on the, your cash sweep, on the cash that's sent inside your account. So that's an easy way to make 5% on your cash by doing absolutely nothing, just by holding it inside of that brokerage account and also picking up 15 free stocks. Guys, go ahead and get that free money. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Webull. You sign up with Webull, deposit any amount of money. You can deposit $1 if you want to, and you can receive up to 12 free stocks. Uh, with those 12 free stocks, you could keep them inside the portfolio and decide to use it. Or you can sell those 12 free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. But let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Now, I had a lot of people ask me, why am I investing so much into Apple? Why am I not putting inside a high paying dividend stock like SCHD, QILD, or others so that I could live off of my dividends in the next 10, maybe 20 years, right? Why am I not putting inside an ETF like VOO or QQQ? Well, we're going to take a look at that and get some real results at the end of this video. So make sure you stick to the end of this video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. All right. So now back to Apple. First, let's talk about that journey. In the last decade, did you know that over the past 10 years, Apple stock has seen phenomenal, I'm talking about amazing growth. From reinventing personal technology with the iPhone to expanding into services and wearables, Apple has consistently pushed the boundaries. Um, this innovation and growth have been reflected inside of their, their stock price, showing an impressive upward trend. So we're gonna look at the past 10 years and see how much I might have in the future. Will it be millions? Will it be worthless? I don't know, but we <laughs> we shall see, all right? So looking into the future, all right? So we're gonna try to look into the future. While past performance is not guaranteed for future performance, right? Apple continued to focus on innovations and expansions into new markets like health technology uh, with their watches, right? And potentially automobiles, maybe an Apple car or technology within electronic vehicles, right? I'm thinking Apple car, all right? If Apple maintains even just a fraction, just a fraction of growth rate from the last decade, my investments today would be some natural growth in the next 10 years. So now if we was to compare it to a stable ETF like VRO, QQQ, um, why choose Apple? Let's break down what makes Apple such a standout, first of all, all right? Apple is the world largest company by market capitalization. They're a trillion dollar company and a certain level of security for many investors, right? But for me, it do. Now, they're not just a technology company. They're becoming an integrated part of people's lifestyle globally. They also have a massive amount of cash on hand. I'm talking billions of dollars in reserve. This financial cushion allows them to invest into new technologies, whether if the economic is going in a downturn, they're going to have so much cash on hand and allows them to continue that streak of acquiring innovative companies almost every single year. Well, it is every single year. Um, there are about 20 companies in the S&P 500 that carries the whole entire S&P 500 and Apple is amongst one of the top companies that carry the S&P 500. Apple just isn't sitting on a cash pile. They're actively investing into acquiring smaller companies that can add value to their ecosystem. These acquisitions often include startups in areas like um, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and health technology. That's how they're able to add things to their watch every year, make a new Apple headset. They're buying up these smaller companies that's on the cutting edge of technology. They're buying them 
and added them into Apple company and to their products, right? So they buy at least like 20 companies every single year. They acquire and buy 20 companies, whole companies every single year. Apple does that. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the past performance and see how much money can I make in the future in the, in the, in the next 10 years. I'm about to pull up my portfolio visualizer. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are inside my portfolio visualizer. So let's say we started invested all the way back in 2000. What year is it? 2024. So let's just say 2013, uh, 2024 just started. That's 10 years ago. Let's say we started with a thousand dollars and we contribute a fixed amount of, what is it, $60 every single day, five days a week. Um, that's 300, that's $1,200 a month, right? $1,200 a month, monthly, and we're going to reinvest our dividends into Apple, took a simple AAPL. There we go, $100, I mean 100% of the portfolio inside AAPL, right? Okay, so let's do the math right quick. If I'm investing $1,200 a month for 12 months, that's around $14,400 a year. Multiply that by 10 years. That's over the next 10 years, I should have been investing $144,000 into Apple, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and hit analyze the portfolio right here and see how much we might have in the future. Oh my God, guys, with just um, $60 every single day in the next 10 years, I would have almost a million dollars. Well, almost $900,000 in Apple. I'm bringing in $890,000 by itself over the next, uh, from the last 10 years, right? So we look at Apple, this how much we'll be making in dividends, uh, around $4,327 a year in dividends, but we will almost have, we'll be well on our way to a million dollar account. And probably in just one more year, we'll have a million dollars inside of our Apple account. Now, if we compare this to another ticker symbol like VOO, uh, which is the S&P 500. It tracks the top 500 companies in America. And let's just throw out another high dividend stock out there. Let's SCHD, the one that everybody loves to invest into. Remember, past performance does not predict future performance, but let's just take a quick look. Here it goes um, with VOO, tracks the S&P 500. You'll have $358,000. That's nowhere close to $900,000. And with SCSG, a lot of people invest into that for dividends. They have $360,000, uh, $336,000. If we take a look at the dividends, of course, with SCSG, you'll be bringing in $11,000 a year. But that's still nowhere close to having $900,000. And that's why I'm taking the chance. That's why I'm taking the risk on a good quality company at Apple that is a trillion dollar market cap company that has so have billions of dollars of cash on hands that acquire companies every single year that does stock buybacks that does stock splits that's why i'm investing so heavily into them and taking a risk and taking a chance because i want that nine where is it at? i want that almost nine hundred thousand dollars in apple guys so there we go so what does that leave my investment if apple continues on its current trajectory my daily investments of 60 dollars a day could potentially significantly grow a lot all right using historical growth rates as a guide and factoring uh, factoring in apple's strong market position in financial wealth we're looking at a promising future now let me know down in the comment section guys let me know down in the comment section should i stop investing into apple so heavily and start throwing it inside voo qqq sehd or another potential company that has a lot to uh that have a lot of growth potential or should i continue to invest into apple until they make some kind of crazy major change in that company structure or something like that but for the foreseeable future i think i'm going to invest into apple um let me know down in the comment section what do you think i should do is there a company that you absolutely love that you're buying into um, no matter what let me know if you're a dollar cost averaging as well down in the description guys before we leave make sure that you hit that thumbs up button make sure you go down to the description um moo moo you sign up for moo moo get those free stocks sign up for weeboo get those free stocks but remember if you already got robin hood if you already got weeboo um go ahead sign up with moo moo if you already got moo moo go ahead sign up with weeboo it's free stocks it does it does not hurt to have money in multiple places it does not hurt to get free stocks do not miss out on those opportunities but yeah guys that's it i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show hit that thumbs up button and i'm out peace